Hey guys, it's Christy Mystic Water, and today we're doing something a little bit different. As you can see, I'm not talking in this video, and this is a voiceover, because everyone in my house was asleep at the time of recording this video. I'm gonna be re-dyeing the silver in my hair, and yeah, so let's just get started with this. You can't really tell that my hair needs a major adjustment, mainly because the bathroom lighting downstairs has such good lighting, whereas the upstairs bathroom, not so good. With the yellow, you're definitely going to notice a difference here. Especially as I get in closer, you'll notice that the gray has some greenish tone, like a yellow undertone as it's fading out. It's got this greenish color. I just can't stand it. I'm not liking how it's fading out. So I'm going to go in and fix this mess. Today, I'm going to be using three colors from my favorite hair color brand, Ion Color Brilliance Brights. These are semi-permanent, but they're my fave because of how vibrant they stay for long periods, especially their blue neon line. Like anything in the neon line stays bright forever. But for this look, I'm using a mix of the titanium, lavender, and slate. I also add a bit of radiant orchid later on, but I don't show its box because these are actually reusable colors, meaning you can use more later if you still have some left in the tube, which is great for touch-ups. I'm also going to be using Ion's pre-color treatment, which helps with an even absorption of the color into the hair. It just makes everything even and nice. And it also comes in this spray form, so I'm going to be using both the serum and the spray to prep my hair. Now that my hair is fully saturated in the treatment and parted my hair into sections and ready for the color, I take a mixture of the lavender and start applying it without gloves. Good job, Christy. You see that I not only apply the lavender to the bottom half of my hair, but I also add bits throughout the top of my hair as well, which I'll also be re-dyeing the silver colors. But because that greeny yellow gross part of my hair is really stubborn, I'm using the purple tone to counteract it, like a purple toner highlight to bring out the platinum color when it fades rather than that yellow brass stuff we had before. This is also why I add Radiant Orchid later on to give the tones a bit more oomph to get rid of that gross green. Now that I'm done with the purple, we get to move on to the silver. Uh, I'm using about two parts titanium to one part slate, but it's all mixing by eye. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna mix this together fairly thoroughly so I get an even color for application. I'm now adding the Radiant Orchid to mix with the lavender just to give that purple a little bit more kick. And we are pretty much done here. Now we just have to wait. And now we have our finished look. Not bad. It turned out a lot better than I expected it to, especially in the yellow lighting of the bathroom. Back is even, 
everything looks really good. And of course, we got a look at the blue lighting of my blue bathroom downstairs. It looks so much better in more natural light. We are definitely seeing more blue tones in this light, which is rather obvious. The purple is definitely a different color in this light. So that was just my video, um, giving you guys a taste of what it's like to constantly be dyeing my hair. <laughs> so that was my DIY video for how I color my hair. If you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And there's also another video of me hair modeling. And you can check it out right over here. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Kid love you. Bye.